Welcome YouTube! Time for another stream! Aren't you guys excited? Aren't you guys so excited? Um, we're doing Family Wagon. We're building a bunch of stuff today. Um, the first thing is something that- Okay, first of all, before we even start, actually, everything is netherite. This is all netherite, this is all netherite, and in- in Wismus, my, um, sword, pickaxe, and hoe are netherite. What's up, Asap? How you doing? And, um, the hoe becoming netherite gave me an advancement. Let me just get that advancement right up. Uh, I think- uh, I actually don't know where it would be. Oh, we gotta do this at some point. Anyway, um, let's look around for it. But yeah, we- Oh. I just heard something. Um, we got that advancement, which I'll find in a second, I'm sure. Um, I, or I won't. It's probably another, right? Surely it's another, because it's another, right? Oh yeah, there- it would, uh, be around here? Oh, we gotta use a lodestone. I feel like- Anyway, uh, trust me, there is one, I swear. I'm not lying to you. Um, but yeah, getting that netherite hoe was an advancement. We're gonna try to get through the rest of the advancement. <laughs> nice. Nice, guys. Uh, oh, we got another wither. Uh, and we got Zoglin head. That was on my nether roof portal. Nice. This was on my uh, list of things that I wanted. So yeah, today we're gonna deal with this board because it's <laughs> kind of uh, overwhelming. Uh, we, we've uh, kind of outgrown this little board. So we're gonna make a new mu museum somewhere. I don't really know yet where we want to do it. What happened to the ancient uh, plants? I have no idea. Ellie had spotted. Yeah. Oh, that's true. We should put the player heads in there too, huh? So maybe we will, yeah, so I was trying to figure out a way to have 70 rows, because there's 69 mob heads, not a joke, not me being annoying, straight up 69 mob heads, so I feel like the 70, what is this path, dude, I haven't been on in a while, to be honest, uh, the 70, I think the 70th one will be us, our heads, because I have all three of our heads, or I could put that at the entrance to the museum but first things first we want to we've been talking about putting this egg in a mushroom like one of these mushrooms and i just haven't been doing it so i think i should finally get around to doing that but dude I, like i was honestly running out of ideas because i got all netherite off stream like i was literally just playing i would get bored and i just mine i was like now what like i'm overpowered what do i do uh, i'm not a good builder but i could learn to build i feel like that's what we're gonna do right now is learn to build uh we won't get end stuff Let's leave one of everything just because I know that they'll want me to. Um, end stone? How do you- can you craft with end stone? Yeah, you can. You don't need to smelt it or anything. That's nice. Uh, I assume I can do that. Okay. End bricks. I don't mind the end bricks. I feel like we should make this- uh, so the, the mushroom's the first thing. We want to make this mushroom. Don't really know where. It could go down here, maybe? Wait, is there something- is that just a lightning rod? It is. Like- I don't want to just put it just anywhere, but I don't think it should be in the center here because if we're making a whole mushroom, I feel like it'll kind of steal focus, you know? Like, we have a nice open area here and we don't want to just steal focus with this mushroom. That being said, we could make it like one of these brown mushrooms. So it's just a pillar, but then this beacon would uh, get... Hmm. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's see where this guy goes. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Perfect. Thank you, Mushroom. Appreciate you. Um, let's let's see what we can do. I think this we should um, probably deal with. Um, like, we should probably move this. Uh, as in, just remove this and put a glass block there. I was thinking, like, just a green glass... Oh, we can't put green. We'd have to just put a white glass block so that these colors don't get diluted. Hmm. But yeah, this egg we want to put somewhere else. So yeah, I can't put a pillar up, like... Because I'd have to make it out of glass. I don't think that's going to look that nice. Um, this looks nice, though. What if we did something like this? Like a pillar of glass panes. You can do glass block and moss carpet on top. Okay, cool. That could actually be kind of fire. It's just a hidden beacon. Maybe let's do that. Let's let's separate the beacon from the dragon egg. Um, the only thing about the dragon egg... Oopsies. Oh, I forgot that we put this little campfire here. Uh, we can leave him. We can leave him there. Um, I assume this was here. Okay. I, I don't have any other blocks on me, so I assume that's what that was. Blocks! Um, <laughs> let's put... Let's do as Aesop said. I forgot we had all the glass in here. Perfect. Just one glass block. We have too much glass. It's kind of... It's, it's calmed down, though. We've had... Uh, we used to have a lot more. And some moss carpet, which I assume would be here. 
To be honest, haven't seen any moss anywhere. Don't really know where we're keeping it. Or how it works or anything. Um, I assume it's somewhere here. I'm not a builder. I'm just not a builder. Under organics? Oh, under organics. Understood. Thank you. Appreciate you. Alright, let's do that. Do you write... Oh, there's a... We'll put a lantern here. Okay, cool. Put you right there. Put you right there. Perfect. Hidden uh, thing. That's the thing, Phoenix. I wasn't sure where we want to put this egg. Um, we don't have like a, a good central location, I think, that we can put it. Bada boom, I helped. You did help. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, I do want to keep this blackstone and crimson vibe, maybe, like to some extent around it. But I'm thinking, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of dogs here. God damn. Um, maybe next to the nether mushroom. It could be nice to have, like, um... But, like, the egg is, like, the big part of the, um... Thank you for the work. Appreciate you. Yeah, it, it, the, the egg is, like, the big part of, you know, this game. Like, it's the it's a one-of-a-kind egg. You have to, like, you know, fight the dragon and everything to get it. So, I feel like it should be kind of a grandiose mushroom. Um, there's a panda! I was just thinking I need a panda head. I know that's a horrible thing to think the second you see a panda. Like, I shouldn't be thinking of killing this guy, but... We can kill his babies, you know? We'll get a second one somewhere, and... You know. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um... I don't know. We, like, we could just put it here. We really could. Maybe just, uh, lift this guy up a little more. Um, and just... You know, like, if if the stem is a little longer, we can just put it here. Um, I, I was thinking of doing a broken dragon egg, uh, or sorry, broken ender mushroom with the dragon egg inside. So, like, this whole thing topples over, is sideways on the ground here, so you can walk into the entrance kind of like we, we can do with that. It's like it's on the ground. And uh, you can walk in and the egg is sitting there as if it kind of... I know it. the egg doesn't really get birthed, but it's like, it kind of like broke out and broke the mushroom that it was inside, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I feel like that's the vibe, maybe. So let's just do it here. Don't kill my panda. I'm going to need you to get some more pandas, because I do need some dra uh, some panda heads. So, you know, if you could just uh, get to work, <laughs> um, that'd be super fire. Or if you just tell me where you found it. Okay. So yeah, there's nothing super important here, I don't think, so... I don't think anyone's gonna mind if I kill this thing. That's, well, Ellie just solved that for me. There is, in fact, a use for this. So we're gonna leave it, I guess. Um, thank you for warning me. Phoenix could have warned me, you know, considering she was right here. Um, watching, watching patiently, but she didn't. Um, I don't know. I don't want to put it too far away. Because... The whole point is for it to be kind of central. Maybe she changed her mind. Phoenix, let me know if you're, like, still listening. We could also put it near the museum. And we could start building more stuff near that museum. Let me figure out where I want to put the museum. Maybe. Could be good. I have an elytra and I really should be using it. I have a spare elytra too. I really should just be using this more. Okay. I'm lurking while doing stuff. Did you care about that mushroom that's next to your house? Uh, like, that mushroom right there. Do you still want it for your dogs, or can I turn that into the dragon egg mushroom? Oh, there's a second beacon here. Yes. I want it. Okay, she wants it. Okay. Um, I feel like the museum could go here. Doesn't really look like there's anything over here. Go near the enchanting table? Okay. So yeah, I feel like we're gonna put the museum here. Which we're gonna do, like... I don't think there's anything here. To the right of it. To the right of the enchanting table. I want to show you something. Okay. To the right of it. Is it this thing? Oh boy. Alright, let's see this. Oh, that's awesome. That's so sick. It shouldn't do fail. Yeah, it doesn't do fall damage. That's so, that's so cool. I like that. What's this button for? Is this the same thing? Oh, it is. 
That is so cool. And it doesn't do fall damage because I checked this ahead of time. Wind charges only do f uh, fall damage if you go below the lev the Y level you started at. So if we start at this Y level, you can't do damage unless you somehow fall below that. So very cool. Like that a lot, Ellie. Good job. <laughs> That's funny. I see why there's a bunch of moss around it now. You can use it as a launch pad for the elytra? Gotcha. That's really cool. I like that. Very smart. Um, anyway, yeah, let's put the uh, museum over there, but let's start with the end, crystal, uh, end mushroom because I feel like that's the easiest thing to start with. We could put it back here, but again, kind of out of the way. I feel like let's just put it near my house. And I'm not saying that because I'm building it, I swear. It's just I feel like maybe somewhere here could work. I don't mind this spot, kind of. Could be nice. Um, so it's just going to be a, like, like a three by three thing. Because that's how big the mushrooms are. Could work since we're, we're okay. So we are moving them. That's I assumed because you were doing this whole thing. Um. But we're like we haven't moved them yet, so I feel like let me just do this. Um. We just need you to move them, just not the librarians. Uh, I don't mind doing it where I'm doing it right now, though. I mean, it's up to you. I don't mind either way. Um, I swear we're gonna add more stuff to this. I just want this to first have the shape that I want. And then we'll start making it look nice. Oh, I forgot Swift Sneak. So nice. Okay. So this is literally the vibe. It's literally just this. Um, the, and the, the idea is this whole top just fell off. So we need to get some of these stem blocks, which I think we should, we, surely we have stem. Yeah, we do. Um... And we want to kind of put them, like, just honestly, uh, just putting one here and a couple there. Maybe that's too far. I feel like we should put it there so it looks like it fell. We make this whole mushroom thing, like, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong button. We'd make this whole mushroom thing look nice, you know. Uh, maybe instead of stem, we could use purper or something. Um, cause Purper is the natural, I don't want the Electron. Purper is the natural, um, thing that spawns in the end, so. We could use just these normal per Purper blocks, maybe. I did want to use them anyhow, but let me see how I can, any, any hues, but let me see. Ah, there we go. We want a pillar. Maybe like four blocks. I don't know how many we need. But yeah, this is exactly what I'm thinking. So, put that there, put that there. So it looks like it just snapped right off. The egg will go literally right here, which we can actually do right now. Uh, I think we can keep the crimson if we want, I don't mind it. And then, um, and then yeah, we can just make this end stone look literally so much nicer. It has a lot more potential, but, um, but I like this vibe. I just got an amazing eye and said, is your GPS doing a cha-cha slide? <laughs> What's up, penguin? Welcome, how are you doing? That's funny. Um, so yeah, endstone is ugly, so we're gonna do that for the base at least. But I guess maybe, okay, so this, this base is technically a side of the mushroom. So I'm thinking maybe we uh, make this for the top. So it's like the top is made out of brick. Again. The best environmental storytelling I can do as a non-builder. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then that, that floor needs to have something. I just don't know what yet. Again, let me look through the end stuff. So we do want end rods probably. To, okay, I wish that we could make blocks of ender pearls. That'd be sick. Is there anything I can do with... With any of this? I assume you can't make like... Chorus blocks? I think chorus is how you make purper though. I actually don't know for sure. But coarse flower maybe? But flower does this flower does grow. Yeah, like it, it would grow out and you can't even place it there. Hmm. Doing good. Glad to hear it. Would the blocks be just looking at you because the eyes? Wait, oh yeah, the ender. Yeah. Well, you would have to put oh, like if you make a eyes of ender block, that'd also be so creepy. They just constantly, like, track you as you walk. That'd be sick, actually. That'd be some true horror. 
quarter. We, oh, we already have pillars. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to use more pillars because we used that already. Um, oh boy, the thunder's starting. I don't know if these walls could come in handy. We'll make a couple of everything. Oops. Just for the sake of having it. Also, this can go... Where would this go? Items? Yeah. Um... It could be nice to add this heating pad back in there. It would be annoying. I don't want to fall into the freaking... Okay, I didn't fall. That's fine. Um, I think we let's grab all of these fireplaces that Ellie made for the sake of heating up the area. So the whole joke was that the... Um, was that the... Ender Pearl was being heated so that we could hatch it. So we could keep that vibe going for sure. There we go. I did like the vibe of it around the uh, beacon, but maybe we could add something else there. I don't know. But I do want to add that back here. I don't need this anymore. Oh, I can't jump out of that. Okay, good to know. Uh, good to know for future reference. Cool. Oh, and I would have to put... Um, it has to be like a slab, right? Yeah. We'll have to put something there. Or we could... Honestly, we couldn't... Oh, okay. It does work. Okay. For a second, I got worried. Um, it could be good to just put... Um, just these slabs around, right? Maybe like uh, in a pathway or something around it. I don't know. Um, maybe here, here, here. Could put it down here too. I don't know. Let's put it. Let's put it here. Oops. It could be good to have. Oh my god! Please. Let me out! Uh, it could be good to have, like, all of the end stone and, and purple slabs around this area kind of spreading outward, you know? In kind of a circular region, I think. The shovel's too strong. <laughs> like that much, maybe? And we won't fill all of it in. Like, we'll put some mycelium still, but I want to just break it just to get a vibe for how much I wanted. You can remove the rails. Aren't you still working on moving the villagers? That's not done, right? Okay, I don't mind that. That looks pretty good, I think. Uh, I'll put one more... here. I think that works. Um... We have four more to move. Yeah, so I'll keep them for now. Well, she... No, no, no I, I don't need any uh, room right now. This is this is the extent of what it's going to be. So, um, I just got to figure out what to put in there. Yeah, maybe I just do what I did here and keep that going here. I don't know. Or what other blocks would look nice? Maybe I could use some nether stuff. I know it's not the same world and stuff. So, world building wise, it's kind of silly. But, um, oops. But I don't know. It could be... Could be good. I think. What other nether stuff can we use? Maybe nether bricks could look nice. Um, maybe a little magma. A little blackstone. We just don't have the stuff. Did you see the new village? I did not. I can look. I can, uh, I'll follow the rails, I assume, and I'll, I'll be able to see it. Uh, let me just get through this. This whole building thing is like, it stresses me out a little bit. <laughs> we should definitely put magma here. I feel like, you know, the whole thing is like heating up the... Like heating up the egg. And I also just like the look of magma with this texture pack and stuff. There's... One, two, three, four, five sides. And there there's three dimensions. I don't know if maybe we like the vibe of having nether, nether, end, 
overworld overworld kind of you know so we put like some overworld blocks here that's kind of like a because the whole point is like the journey that we've taken to get this egg so maybe that could be cool we're trying stuff on the fly let's see how we like it i don't know Uh, and then we could put some purple there to make up for the fact that that like that side is just so bland, you know. Take the path to the farm. I will take a look in just a bit. Let me just get this stuff sorted. That away. We will want some purple blocks to make the top look a little nicer. I wouldn't mind giving this more of a pattern. Because to me, the end is like the most or the least chaotic out of the four areas. Um, you know, the overworld is obviously the overworld. It's just like real life. It's insane. It's chaotic. There's so many biomes. There's so much that you can look at. And the nether is like a hellscape. But I don't know. The, the end is just, it's kind of simple. It doesn't really go too crazy. So I like the idea of it having, we should use some end rods. I, I do, we should, I'm going to use the end rod like we use the lightning rods. Because we've been putting the lightning rods on top, and by we I mean Ellie. So that could look nice. Um, and what if we do... Hang on. Oops. Maybe something like... This. I don't know. Kind of looks nice. It adds some lighting. It makes it look more majestic. This is actually coming along. I'm not a good builder, but I kind of like this. I'm liking it. It's kind of chaotic, it's kind of insane, but it, it works, I feel like, for what we're trying to do. Uh, boop. Let me just drop off my dirt. And what else do we need? We just need the um, stuff for these sides. Which I do want it to be dark still, because kind of the whole vibe is kind of darker, I think. Um, so I'm not going to use brain coral and stuff. But, um, let me just think, what could we use? Maybe some, maybe nor like natural stone, some basalt maybe? We don't really use basalt too much. Um, I've already used a lot of tough. I like the tough, but, and again, with deep slate, like, same thing. Maybe a little mossy cobblestone could work with the, uh, with this whole, like, kind of area. It makes sense, I think. Anything else? You can make mossy stone bricks. Wait, that actually might be... Oh, I guess you can't? Never mind. Maybe I'm lying. But you... My AC is spitting water again. Let me just turn that off. I'm always like, oh my god, it's raining, guys. No, I'm indoors. I don't know what... <laughs> it's so weird. I hate it. Um, How do you make mossy stone bricks? I guess you can't? Can you? Oh, okay, stone, like an actual stone brick and moss. That makes sense. That does make some, a rudimentary amount of sense. Um, let's grab some stone. Or we already have stone bricks. And let's grab some moss. Let's see what we can do. Not going to use all of it, but, you know, a little bit. These stone bricks could, could look good. And what can I do with the smooth basalt? I can't do anything. Interesting. Can I make anything with basalt? Polished basalt. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do with just this. Because this basalt is the one that you find in the overworld, I think. And I think the, the other one is the one you find in the ruins. In the nether. Um. Oops. Mining too fast. I'm not going to say it's, like, super pretty, but I think it tells the story I want it to tell. I don't know. Like, the whole- the point isn't for it to be pretty, you know? Oops. I broke something, please. Okay. Oh, everything's too strong now. <laughs> um, give me that. Uh, I don't like this here. 
Maybe these. Okay, I actually really, I don't mind this. I think it kind of works for what I was trying to do. I'm kind of a fan. I like the smoke around it. Um. Yeah, and I like the lighting and stuff. It Listen, it's going to look way worse when I turn off the shaders. <laughs> it's not great. It's not amazing, but it's not the worst. I mean, even with shaders off. Let's turn them back on. Um. I think that I think that's that that done. I think that's what we wanted, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna go check out this farm that Phoenix wants me to see in just a sec. Let's just get all of our stuff out of our inventory. Boop boop. Um, we want this here. Probably that works. Uh, this has to go under organics again. Our chests are just way too. Way too overwhelming at the moment. At the mo. Well, now what? <laughs> now what do I do? Help! That's for someone else to figure out. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, do you see the new village of mushrooms? Take the path through the farm. Like go this way, right? Surely. Through. Oh, this right. Oh, wait, I like that. Item frame, invisible item frame. Hi, guys. We have farming villagers. And the houses look really nice. I like it. I assume, oh, I assume, okay, we have two farming villagers and they're both hanging out in there. And the little emerald blocks look good. Anything in the chest? Nothing. Just, just made a little house for them. I like this. This is cute. I assume you're going to keep working on this and bring the other ones over, because that's what Ali was saying. <laughs> I'm, I assume all of this stuff is hers. Um, yeah, this is very well done. Let's try again with this uh, bee farm thing. Let's see if we can get this bee. We just can't get it. The bee achievement that we want to get. I just don't know what to do to get it. I, I keep thinking like we have three bees in these bee far, uh, bee nests. You you would think we would, you know, considering how far along we are. But apparently we can't get this stupid advancement. What else do we have to get? Rescue gas from the Nether, bring it safely home to the overworld, and then kill it. That's gonna be a fun one. Um, I do have a gas farm. I could just stick an end portal in there, right? There might be a nest with bees in the workstations. Don't see one. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one. This gassed one. Um, I could mess with the gas farm and see what we can do. Charge a respawn anchor to the maximum. Again, we haven't ever had to deal with this. I don't even know how to make one, if I'm being honest. Let's do that real quick. I don't know. I'm getting a little distracted from what I was planning on doing, but I kind of want to... Six crying, three glowstone. Okay. Um, crying obsidian would be here. Easy. Close some bee right here. We have a bee nest somewhere in the chest, but I don't know where. I don't know if it has three. It's okay. How do you uh, charge these again? I can't do it here. I won't do it in the overworld. I know. I know. I know how that works. Do you use glowstone? Or something? I don't remember. I have glowstone on me if that's what you use, but I'm not sure. Let's try it. We can put it right here next to home. Maybe not right there, actually. We can put it... Yeah, we can put it, like, right here in the wall. So anyone who needs to... You know, I think it's... The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom! Not quite nine lives. So, yeah, if you guys want... I think you guys can use the same one as me. Um, but yeah, you can just put ghosts in there. So somehow if you die in the nether, you'll just spawn right by the portal. And more importantly, you get your achievement. Uh, your advancement. <laughs> That's nice. That was an easy one to accomplish. Gotta save the netherrack. It's very important. Um, they've thrown out so much netherrack that I've mined just to get this netherite. Um... I'm trying to think what blocks we'd want to use for the 
heads, but we might... It might be better just to first of all get... Okay, is there anything in here that's important? Oh, all the bottom stuff. I have a beacon chest, which one day... Which we can actually do. We have a wither. Um, and I have an arrows chest and firework chest. Everything else should be empty. Oh, this is for the um, wither rose farm. Which I don't know if we'll ever need to do that again, but... Yeah. I don't know if this will... I don't know if I'm going to keep doing... Um, uh, weekly streams now. I feel like I've done them for long enough that I'm kind of... I'm not burnt out, but I just don't know what to do every time. Like, I had a good plan for today. But now I might just stream when I feel like it. Like, when I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna play some Minecraft. I'll just stream Minecraft. Um... Because this, this, uh, world is super fun, but... I know that... Like, th everyone has things they want to do on their own. And have run out of things to do with each other at the moment um also i'm realizing do i have a dragon head in my list of heads i don't dragon head let me add that in so um then we don't we can put the player heads at the front of the museum maybe i feel like that would be cool like at the very top of the museum would be nice um but yeah yeah, anyway, I, I, uh, I'm having fun, but I know that I'm gonna run out of steam if I try to keep doing weekly streams when I don't have actual weekly plans. So now, I think it's just on a case-by-case -case basis, like, whenever I feel like... Or, and I might, I, I almost definitely will show up in Ellie and Phoenix's streams if they're doing something. Um, I just personally, after getting this far i've never gotten this far in the game before like having a full netherite having you know killing like the ender dragon a bunch of times um so now i'm just not sure what to do i'm just like kind of lost i'm not much of a builder and stuff so i'm like uh like my my whole deal is adventuring and i feel like we've adventured a bunch found like everything i wanted to find i got all the trims way too easy i thought we'd have to fight way longer to get that ancient city trim last tr last time um but we got that in like seconds, so now it's like, yeah, just thinking about what I want to do next with this. Boop. All right. Cool. This is finally, this ugly piece of crap is finally demolished. Uh, let's move that over to a nicer looking area. Um, I'm just trying to think of what the vibe I want it to be. I could continue with the jungle logs, but I feel like I'm kind of tired of it. Um, oh, the cherry logs would be so nice. But I always go for cherry, like, immediately. I feel like a museum has that kind of White House feel, maybe, right? Like, it's, like, kind of bright white. It's got, like, those pillars in the front, maybe. I don't know. What would a museum look like? It's also a head museum, so it's it's gruesome. It's brutal. It's gotta get like it's gotta be like Roman architecture, right? Um, but I'm gonna I'm tired of stone too. Like I I want a block I haven't really used much. Prismarine? I don't know. Prismarine could be cool actually. A Prismarine temple. We'd have to go and that could be a thing I could do. I could make a guardian farm at some point. We'd have to go to the guardian place and get more things. Um, but Prismarine could be cool vibe for sure for sure for sure i don't know if anyone has staken any claim to um to the guardian uh to the prismarine that's in the chest because i'm sure that they want to build with it but i'm gonna yoink it it's all mine sorry guys should have been faster uh let me see what different prismarine things i can make Okay, so dark prismarine uses black dye. It's just shards and black dye. How do you make normal prismarine breaks? It's just nine shards. Can you make... Okay, cool, cool, cool. Interesting. Um, Because I like how the colors change for this. It's a very cool thing. So... I'm trying to think now in terms of logistics, right? Um, I'm going to just steal all of this, actually. Um, so we wanted to build it somewhere over here. Just, I think just past this bridge would be nicely right there. Uh, I think, with, is this where we were looking earlier? 
yeah, I think this is where we're looking. Um, so now the thing is, we have 70 different things, 70 mob heads. So we could do seven things, seven pathways of 10. Um, because the whole point is you can walk down the pathway, right, to get to see each one, but. I'm also a little worried, like, what if I mess up the count somehow, you know? how? What if I mess up how many there are? What if we do a little, what if we do a little counting session right now? Hang on, I'm gonna go not full screen. Oh, you guys can see my little Animal Crossing background. <laughs> I just added that because we started playing Animal Crossing, which has been um, a lot of fun. I've been enjoying that. Um. Okay, so we have... Do I really want to count these all out on stream right now? I don't know. Is there there must be a faster way for me to count how many things I have, how many heads there are? Because the thing is, there's um there's variant heads for like cats and and um dogs and I don't think there's variant heads for dogs, cats and uh, sheep and stuff. Like you can get different types. I didn't count any of those because I don't feel like getting every single type of villager and sheep and cat and like axolotl and like all that stuff. It sounds a little. Time consuming and boring in like not a fun way. But yeah. I don't know. We would have to like count this somehow. Um again, there is another thing here. I could put the dragon head in the front instead of the player head. So let's just start clearing this while we talk and while I think. I don't think we need these pillars. Um Yeah, so we want to do this. Nice. It's so satisfying breaking down these mushrooms with this axe. It's such a fast axe. Um, so, so nice. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we like I'm saying, we want to do... Um, sorry, I just... I, I haven't killed something with my sword in a while. I just needed to. Um, we want to get 70... 70 is divisible by many numbers. <laughs> let me let me check if there's any numbers that are close to for it to be div divisible by cuz we also don't need to do exactly a certain amount. We could do like um we could do three pathways and do oh nice. I don't even need this either. Um, we could do three pathways and make it, um, like have each of our heads on top of each pathway and one pathway has one on each side. The other pathway has one on each side. And then the middle pathway has kind of this bigger chamber and you can see like one row of like our most rare items. Maybe that could be cool. In fact, I think that's what I kind of want to do. Let's get these shulker boxes out since we have them sitting here. Let's just drop all this in here. I I'm not a fan of wasting items. I know that I'm a hoarder. Um, but, you know, I'm just not a fan of wasting items that, like, someone might need. Then again, I don't think anyone's ever going to need steak or leather. Um, I, think we're I think we're good enough on that, so maybe we can... Start throwing that out instead of just hoarding it for no reason. But the mycelium is kind of nice. I know it's like everywhere, but better to have the stored one than the stuff that you have to manually go mine. Um, okay. So let let me let me kind of mark out what I'm feeling. Actually, let's use that mycelium to cover this up. Let me kind of mark out the vibes of what I'm feeling. So, I want basically three paths. So, like one would be like this, and it's three along. The next one would be, I don't know if we would put two blocks here, but the next one would be one, two, three, four, f five along. I kind of counted that off, but we got there. And then, oh, and then the next one would be like this. So, it'd be a museum going backwards that way, like in the in the southern direction. And it would be, um, you'd have, if you walked in here, you would have heads on this side and heads on this side. 
if you walked into this hallway, you'd have, again, heads on the side, heads on the side. And if you walked in through this hallway, you just have them straight down the middle and you could run on either side and check out all these rare heads. That being said, also, I think we should have like an entrance kind of area here. So you can, it doesn't matter what door you go through, you'll still be able to go through any of the hallways just because that looks nicer. But um, let's get my bed. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to try to do. I'll have to decide what the most rare items are. But then obviously we would do 14 heads on each thing, right? Um, 14 heads in each row. So we'd have to have 14 rare ones that are like uber rare. And then, yeah, go from there. Also, I know that... um. I know that Ellie and Phoenix, or at least Ellie has said he doesn't, he tries not to stream when we're live in case, um, and we're going to put the dragon head right in the center. Um, he says he doesn't go live in case, you know, like to not split viewers. Like if anyone wants to watch all of the family wagon stuff, it's weird if all three of us go live and do different things. So I'm probably not going to stay live for too long because I think he said he might hop in kind of late today. Um, potentially. I'm not saying that for sure, but, uh, and yeah, I don't want to do too much. I just want to get this started, kind of, and we'll keep working on it as time goes on. Um, because again, I'm, I'm not used to streaming Minecraft. I, I like streaming my achievement games, you know? I like playing Minecraft. I have fun playing it with my friends. I'm not used to streaming it. I just, I don't know why. Just, I'm used to just playing this game without viewers. <laughs> I also feel like everyone's seen enough of Minecraft Let's Plays, you know? Like, they've been done to death, so I don't mind streaming less of this. Because the boys kind of are definitely more, um... They've definitely been on a lot more. I mean, I logged in and I just saw a bunch of new stuff and I was like, yo, what's happening? Okay. Yeah, I just want this entrance part to look a little better. Yeah, okay. So yeah, again, I, I like the vibes of this as a um as a starting point. Cool. And we'll try to make like a nice arch to open it up. We will need a lot more prismarine, I feel like. I'm tempted to start with the heads, actually. Like, get the get all the heads lined up. And then we can make it look pretty and do all that stuff later. But I'm tempted to start with the heads. And mark, kind of just mark out the territory, right? So, like... I do want this double block here, I think, for the center ones. So... This would be kind of the wall, right? So, let's count out, like... Let's say if we want... A three block entrance way. And then we start the wall. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, and then we'll do one more for the back wall. So yeah. Again, fourteen heads. If somehow I miscounted, we'll we'll make amends somehow. We'll fix it. In the most jank way possible probably but all right so this is gonna be the size of the museum kind of definitely not a small museum um but it looks pretty good i think in terms of like um proportions i don't mind like how it looks i'm gonna move these actually back outside of the museum area so like i said i think i did three blocks along here so that the wall would start right here so again, we'll just start breaking this. And this should be, there should be 13 mycelium, yeah, and one dirt block. So that works. Um, And now we can do the wall kind of, so I don't know what we want to make the floor yet. I don't know, I feel like dark prismarine looks so nice as a floor, but also, hang on, I want to see, cause I know, I know that this color shifts. Does the dark prismarine color shift at all? Or 
Is this even the one that shifts? I think this is. Um, if anyone in chat knows before I like start researching this, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just check. Prismarine. Pri sorry, Prismarine color changing. Okay, I, it looks like only Prismarine periodically changes color between blue and green. Dark Prismarine is just dark cyan. And Prismarine bricks are just cyan bricks. So only the normal Prismarine is the one that changes. So I'm I'm trying to think, I feel like maybe we'd want a dark or a light floor. And I feel like a color, color changing floor would be nice. Also, Prismarine is the easiest thing to get. Um out of these blocks that I'm using. So I feel like let's just start with that. I know I said I want to start with the heads. I just want to get the base down. We won't do the walls for this museum today probably because I really don't know how to make a nice wall or anything. And I am i don't really want to play that by ear. You saw how long it took me to do the dragon egg when I was playing it by ear, so. So yeah, I just want to get this I saved you from that cough. You're welcome. Um, I just want to get this in order before I move on. I also covered up that hole just to dig it up again. Great. Um, I just hate seeing blocks on the ground. I don't know. I don't even know if it's a hoarding thing or if I just hate mess. It's so much cleaner when you pick everything up, you know? Have we checked out this underwater cave? I wonder if there's anything here. I mean, there's iron. I'll take it, you know? Why not? I like iron ore. Lapis ore, too. This is me getting distracted immediately again. I'm so bad at that. So bad about not getting distracted the second I see literally anything. I like these little underwater caves, though. Now that I actually have the uh, armor for it, it's real nice. So yeah, we want to use normal prismarine, I think. And this is the wall, so like this prismarine might not even get seen, but um... Which maybe I shouldn't do, right? Because right now we don't have a ton of prismarine to play with, so let's not do that just yet. Let's do it on the places we know are actually going to have like visible stuff. Like here, this entrance will definitely be visible. And we'll just leave that one block gap for when we uh, start building a wall around this area. It's just a very pretty block, I like it. Um, yeah, we don't have much of this. This is not gonna go too well. We will have to go and farm up some more prismarine in uh shortly but let's at least try to get these heads in place maybe i start yeah let's start ripping away the one two three like just this area just so I, I can get the heads in place as i want them to um and then we'll replace this later but i just want to get started with the heads a little bit one two three at least on one side like this side we can get started so yeah um so heads are gonna go along this area now, we obviously want them to be a little elevated so people can see them. I think they should sit on a block. Um, I don't know if we want them to sit on dark prismarine or maybe fences. Maybe we could get some fences that look nice. Now, again, heads on fences as our museum is kind of crazy, but that's where it is. Um... I think it'll work. We could try end rods. I don't know if it'll look good, but I know that they won't connect, which could be cool. The nether fences. I was also thinking of the blackstone fences. I don't know if we have any. We have this one. We don't have a ton of blackstone, which is also a bit worrying. Because I think the blackstone is something that we... Um, 
we avoid whenever we're mining for another uh, for ancient debris. So, you know, I think we just kind of ended up having way less of that than we could have. But anyway, let's try this. Let's do like three along here. Um, three along here, and three along here, and see if we like any of these the most. I feel like those end rods might kill it, to be honest. Let's just drop all this in here and pick up nine normal heads. I accidentally turned. Oh, hello. I accidentally turned that one a little sideways, but that's okay. I need to just cover this hole, to be honest. I'm going to keep falling in it. Oh, I was looking for mycelium and I had it all in my inventory. That's all right. Let's just cover this back up. Okay, how do we feel? Now, obviously, it's nighttime, so. Great. Do we just we can't see this freaking thing? The obviously the end rods look the best right now. Let's see how we feel when it's actually because we'll light it up if we don't use the end rods. But if we do use the end rods, then we don't really need light anything extra up. Okay. Um, this is kind of invisible. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't like how the heads. They they're the like this one first of all. You can't even see this head fully. I feel like it's kind of inside the thing from what, from how it looks. Um, so, uh, yeah, the blackstone wall is not going to work. Um, and I don't like how these connect. I feel like the end rod does look the best because nothing connects. And it would light up everything, so we'd not even have to, we would not even have to worry about that. So that's also nice. But I feel like the end rod is easily the winner here. Um... It also just looks nice, I feel like, with the prismarine. So I think we're good with that. We can just uh, pick up all these heads again. I have no tool to make this faster. We just gotta keep killing them, taking them out. Okay. And like I said, I think the Ari, Ellie, Phoenix heads will just go on top of each of these um, arches that we make eventually. Uh, I did break those end rods, but there was no reason to do that. I should just place them back. But I didn't bring enough. I should have brought more. That's okay. We'll get more. And then I'll have to f probably off stream. I did bring more. I'll probably ha have to off stream figure out which um how i want to like sort the heads and stuff like where where i want to put things and you know things like that so that'll be a later issue but yeah all the heads can go here we can probably put signs up here because it is a three by three walkway so we can put signs up here or we can put signs on the wall that just say you know this is this head this is this head and um i feel like we should put a chest we could put chest down here or somewhere that has all of the heads so if, you know, if anyone wants to just drop any in here, we can just save all of the heads in here. Would be much nicer than the current storage system, which <laughs> we just have a bunch of heads there, which there's no reason. At least it's all organized and stuff, and if you really need one, you can find one. Um, so I like the vibes of this. Now, now the issue is getting enough prismarine for it, which... To be honest, not 100% sure what we're going to do about that. And the last thing is figuring out the center area. So this is the center. And I probably shouldn't have done this because we actually want enough just to bring this all the way out. There we go. Uh, we can put the end rods here. And then we're going to need a couple more here, which I'll go get more. Which I'm sure, yeah, we have more back at the place. I'm using more end rods today than I've probably ever used ever in the history of me playing this game. Um, <laughs> I do not use it that often, but it looks nice. And, you know, it worked for the little mushroom that we did. And now we can keep working in this museum, so.
Okay, cool. So now, again, the vibe is just... The only... Okay, the only thing I'm a little worried about is... I guess all of... Like, how would we make all the heads face in order... To, maybe we could do a thing of offsetting it somehow? Hmm. Because the, the heads have to face a certain way, but we want people to be able to see them, so making them face forward would be silly. I mean, the dragon head is fine facing forward. Where is it? It's in here. Like, this is fine. Because obviously when you walk in, you're going to see that. But all the other heads would have to face a specific way. So I don't know if we make half of them face this way and half of them face the other way. Or, you know, what the vibe is. Um, cause, yeah, cause this wall is going to have heads. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like the number one thing is getting enough blocks to do this. I don't know if we should start using bricks, but we have, we have so many, I wish we could unturn this, but turn this back into just normal prismarine because we have so many bricks and I'm not even using them yet. I will use them eventually, but. Or maybe I use the prismine for something else, like the, like the trim or something, instead of using it for the floor. I don't know, but I like the I like the idea of a changing floor, and I want like a glass ceiling so you can. It's all bright. It's nice, um, you know, stuff, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I we kind of I think this was a good thought experiment. I don't I don't I wasn't really planning on doing too much on stream because the problem is. A lot of this is just like logistics that I just got to figure out. Like if I was making this a YouTube recording, I could record everything and just cut out all the boring stuff. But I feel like this isn't the best for stream. Um, so I don't think I'm going to go much longer. I think I'll end basically here. Um, and we'll just, I'll keep working on this off stream. I'll figure, I'll probably get the blocks we need. I'll figure out what we want to do um, with um, like figuring out where heads go and how to make them look good and stuff. And we could build the rest on stream. Um, but yeah, like I said, Minecraft is something to me that I'm used to just playing off stream. So I just want, I wanted to like update you guys kind of, and we could probably fight this at some point, but we've already fought it with her on stream. That's, it's not that difficult. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, like I said, it's, I, I'm used to not streaming Minecraft. Minecraft is just such a game to me that I'm like, I would rather just, kind of play and i can sh just update you guys so um that's a little update that's kind of what we're doing um i'll be back sunday for a minecraft hide and seek stream with ellie phoenix cozy uh it's on click server so i'm sure click will be in call and i don't know how we're gonna set it up or anything it's all click stuff but yeah we'll be doing that um probably if that one's not as long of a stream i probably will end up playing some animal crossing after um, and next week, I think, like I said, I don't want to keep doing these weekly Minecraft streams because um, I want to show you guys when I actually have like a lot of concrete stuff in the works. Like if I can do multiple things in a stream and like just start checking things off, it's much better than just being like, okay, I got to do something this week. What can I do? So um, yeah, I think next week I will uh, probably do a lot more Animal Crossing. Maybe I'll start another series for uh, solo stuff. We'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling. I gotta look at, through my video games and see what I want to play off stream and on stream. Um, but yeah, much love YouTube. Take care. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.